we are in a new year now and that means that new content for us to enjoy and for marvel there's going to be a lot even though some of the things and some of the projects that they wanted to release this year will be pushed back because of you know the low reception to some of the projects that were just underwhelming but all they didn't you know really do it for marvel fans and you know comic book fans movie goers in general it's not about them you know producing more content if the content was you know actually stellar and amazing but the problem is is the quality so they have listened and some of the projects that they wanted to release this year will be pushed back so i'm here with an update on some of the projects that i now confirmed per some sources reputable ones are that as the ant-man trailer that was finally released in lead a couple of days ago and they were spot on with the description and everything so let's jump right into it now let's start with thunderbolts this movie is the movie that is going to end phase five it's like a big avengers team up but with this you know villain some of them who have changed and have been brought into this team for whatever crisis that is going to go on or whatever they are going to face in this movie and as many reputable sources have confirmed it is Sentry who's going to be the villain of the movie let me just rephrase he may not be the main villain but he may be the protagonist there may be a switch around where they face the true villain it will be interesting to see what they do with the character because he is someone who's very powerful in the comics one of the most powerful so I don't know how they are going to scale his power in this movie for the thunderbolts to even have a chance to you know get a lick on him other sources are also saying that he will start out as a member of the thunderbolts and throughout the film he starts to lose his mind after he starts hearing voices in his head thereby going out of control and that is when the rest of the team have to stop him at all costs i mean <laughs> it could happen which means that they'll be dealing with the void which is his alter self as i said making him the antagonist and not the main villain I don't think he's going to be a true away villain or antagonist. He's someone who's going to be important in the MCU going forward. As for the lineup for the Thunderbolts, we already know that when they were revealed at D23, they were not going to be the only ones in the team. Marvel were leaving some off. And from many sources, the character the Hood is going to be part. I think he's going to be the villain, an antagonist or one of them in, you know, Iron Heart. So it means he's going to have a change or something is going to happen. He's going to join that team by the end. And the character songbird which from sources looks like say the sink is the front runner to play that character now regards to red hawk which harrison ford is now going to play from concept arts sources are saying that the character is wearing a fit similar to what bruce banner's alter ego joe face it wore in the incredible hawk comics now as it's a concept art which means that he's subject to change or it might just be some of the attire or clothing that he wears in the movie now moving on from the thunderbolts it looks like the world war hawk movie is finally going to happen of course it was teased at the end of she hawk so we know that they are setting out for something big and sources are claiming that Liv tyler marvel Studios wants to bring her back to play as betty for the incredible hawk movie and perhaps even play red she hawk or something now from what she hawk or how the story went i don't think they're going to adapt the same story from the comics hey but at least we're going to have another hawk movie right with captain america new world order Nick Fury and Rhodey are also said to appear in the movie. I mean, it makes sense. It's a new world order. Sam Wilson is going to be dealing with the government, the leader. Also reported that Adamantium will be introduced in the movie. The Serpent Society is also teased to be in future projects. Some are saying they are going to make an appearance in Captain America New World Order. Others are saying Thunderbolts. But either way, they are going to make appearances in the MCU going forward. They are villains who have formed the group with them all having snake themed powers. And they are mostly Captain America villains and deal with other MCU heroes. But it will be interesting to see what they do with them. Moving on from that, the Vision Quest series that is supposed to come out with Vision, you know, finding himself you know white vision that is and that movie by the end is going to set up the young avengers i mean it makes sense in the comics when vision is around the young avengers are also around not all the time but they usually you know tie him in with the young avengers and the nova project that we know is going to come it's not going to be a series at first we thought that it would even be holiday special but no it's going to be a movie which is i mean it's cool plus it's going to be a person of the touch type of movie so the nova that we are going to get is going to carry the mantle of of a previous one. 
Now let's talk about Ironheart and let's talk about Mephisto. This guy has been teased to appear in many shows, especially one that people were expecting him. But now we know he's coming and I think they, they said Saha Cohen was going to be the one to play the character. And some of his scenes were shot for Ironheart in December. He's also going to make an appearance in Agatha, Coven of Chaos. So it's going to be exciting to see how they use this character going forward in the MCU. And now let's move on to Wong. Wong is now everywhere. He's just an amazing character and that's why they've been placing him in many different projects and now it seems like he's going to get his own show something he even pitched a while ago it's going to be inspired by the strange academy comics which means that it's going to be centered on him training new magic users sorceress him being the sorcerer supreme america chavez is going to also be in there i mean she was last seen in kamataj in dr strange in the motives of madness training to control her powers and ned might even be in it since from no way home you saw that he has an affinity for magic Plus, Zelma Staten, who is going to make a debut in Iron Heart, will probably also be in the show. Now, moving on from that, there are other sources who are also saying that Marvel Studios wants another Doctor Strange movie before Secret Wars. I mean, we know that another Doctor Strange movie is coming, the part three is coming, they set it up at the end of Multiverse of Madness, but it was when, whether it was going to come after big Avengers movies or it's going to come before. Plus, the Wong show will tie into the movie, I mean, figures, and set up more magic users as well. The Midnight Suns movie to that it slowly seems like they are going to be setting up the blade movie is coming we have already mood night dr strange 2 is there seems like they want to also bring ghost rider in the future among others and the movie is a goal and it's going to be one of the movies going forward even though it's unannounced and it looks like miss marvel season 2 and moon Knight season 2 is also a goal after their release there's been few speculations even teases from the actors and actresses that the shows are going to get second seasons now the sources are saying that they want those shows before Secret Wars. So it looks like Marvel is going to pack a lot of movies and TV shows before that big event. So Spider-Man 4 might release between 2024 and 2025. Now in regards to the MCU schedules that I talked about being moved, what if season 2 is instead going to be released next year instead of I think it was supposed to be released this year. Echo has also been scheduled for next year and Agatha Coven of Chaos will be released after Daredevil in 2025. So these are some of the changes, these are some of the rumors these are some of the projects that are coming out between this year and next year before Secret Wars and have been confirmed by many sources, reputable ones, and they all line up to what Marvel Studios in themselves have been setting up in the other movies and TV shows in Phase 4. So I'm excited to see all these projects come to life. Let me know in the comments below what you think of all these, which ones are you most excited for. And as for the Ant-Man trailer, the final one, I've made a couple of videos on the channel. I hope you check them out. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like subscribe turn on that post notification bell not to miss any new video as always nerdy sage here see you guys in the next one